Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? I'm going to tell you guys or release my personal unbiased review about the PlayStation 5's wireless charging port. I've now had it for about a week, and I feel I can give a proper evaluation review based on my experience. I didn't want to be one of these guys who buys the product and just says, oh, it's great and all this stuff like that. And I really wanted to, to have the product, use the product, and really, really, really give my insight based on what I've experienced with the product, okay? Um, so I've had it now for one week. Um, this item, this charger, let me remove the controller so you can see it. This charger right here, it's very light. Um, if you want to know the width, you can see it's smaller than my hand width. It's very, very small. It can charge two PlayStation 5 controllers wirelessly. Now, this is the official charger. On Amazon, you can buy some aftermarket ones, but I, I was able to get the official one. And if you have a PlayStation 5 already, you already know that this is probably the device that is the hardest to get right now, right? Right now, if I go on... Uh, uh, Best Buy Canada, I live in Canada by the way, if I go at Best Buy Canada, I can get a second controller easily, I can get the, the PlayStation 5 Pulse 3D headset easily, I can get the, the, the 1080p camera for the PlayStation 5 easily, but this guy, the wireless charging port has been sold out since the release of the PlayStation 5. Now, since I've owned this charger i've been using it every day and i've been gaming for about four to six hours a day maybe more sometimes 10 hours a day and um every night time before i go to bed i just put the playstation on the the playstation 5's controller the dual the the dual sense on top of it and every morning when i wake up it has charged the controller flawlessly i found that the charge time with this thing is just as fast as plugging it in so you're not sacrificing any charge time uh, from using this versus the wired uh, connection. W the main reason why I decided to get this uh, charger is because after time, constantly plugging in um, the, 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 the USB Type-C jack into your uh, the, the controller's port, I was afraid that it would damage the port after a while. So I really wanted to get that solution since it just sits on top there and it charges the controller very, very quickly and very, very easily. Like you like you don't have to finick it. Like once you just it's not gonna do anything right now because the, the chargers can leave full, but you just put it on there like that and just like that. You see the light come on? It's charging the controller. It's got fully charged, so it's not gonna charge it. But you guys seen how easy it was, and you just pull it off. Now, some of the aftermarket ones, what I didn't like is you have to put the controller upside down. Right, and put it in there, and you have to actually um, push the controller's USB port into the aftermarket port, which to me defies the entire purpose because I'm trying to not use this port whatsoever. You see on the back of the controller, oops, that didn't go as planned. At the bottom of the controller, there are these four gold pins. It's actually like a magnetized charging port. So when the controller sits on it, when you just put it like that, see the light come on? It automatically detects the control and it starts um, to charge it. And in my experience, it's been perfect. And to be honest with you guys, <clears throat> whenever I'm done gaming, like even though the PlayStation 5 uses a USB-C port, right? And if let's say you didn't want to buy the charger, I never have, like my PlayStation 5 right now, it's completely turned off. I never ever put my PlayStation 5 in rest mode. I just don't want to put it in rest mode. I just rather turn it off completely. So in order for me to charge the controller with the wire, I would actually have to have the PlayStation sit in the rest mode all the time, or I would have to use an external source of charging it like my cell phone charger. But at nighttime when I'm going to bed, my cell phone is charging, right? So I wouldn't be able to plug this into the same cable that I'm already charging my cell phone with. And I don't want to have a hassle of having a second wire and go and plug it. It's I know I'm 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 gonna end up not having it. So after I'm done gaming every night, I just 
put it on there and just like that it's charging you see the light come on again how easy that is and in my opinion this this is a must have for any playstation 5 owner and you know what the best part about this thing is it is actually the cheapest accessory you can buy for the playstation 5 i live in canada and this charger is only $39.99. So it's $45 after tax. In America, it's $29.99 plus tax, right? So you can't argue. And this is an official Sony PlayStation 5 um, uh, wireless um, charging station. It's not an aftermarket. And, and also, the you know, the, the aftermarket ones are about the same price. So if you can get it, I would highly, highly recommend it. This is to me, this is the, the, the one accessory that is the muff must have. Like you don't need to have the camera, you don't need to have the headset, right? Um, but this is gonna make your life a lot easier. It's actually gonna save your controller's charging port on the top uh, over the long run. And this thing, this thing charges two controllers. See, it's got see it's got two ports. It's got one here and it's got one there. So you, if you have a second controller, you know, you just put it on the back and it'll charge it just as well, you know? So that's that's the great thing. So if you have two controllers, this one charging port will uh, charge them both. And in my experience having it for the week, it has never, ever failed me once. I never woke up and it didn't charge or it wasn't on there properly. Um, so highly recommend. Now, the there is a con. The only con that I've come across is that this charger is nearly impossible to find just like the playstation 5 this thing actually i think it's even harder to find on the playstation 5 because right now in canada eb games has been getting playstation 5s weekly but this i never see it this i i happened to get it by a fluke okay i had um i think at uh, well i got it from walmart so walmart uh they had a um they had a time when you can actually just like put your name in and then they would hold it for you. And just randomly last week, they told me they had one in and, 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 and I was able to go and pick it up. And that's how I got it. But other than that, this thing is actually impossible to find right now. So that is the only con that I've come across. I mean, the price is great. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, right? Never had a hiccup. It's small, it's light, it's compact. Oh, another thing that's great about this, about this is that this charges with a wall outlet just like this it uses it uses a wall plug just like this right to connect it and the the good thing about that is that it does not need to be plugged into the playstation 5 when i bought this thing one of the things i was worried about is that the back um power connection was going to be some kind of usb and have to plug into the playstation 5 which to me would have defied the 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 entire process or purpose of me getting it because i don't want to have the playstation 5 turned on whatsoever right so this way it's plugged into the wall outlet so that way it's always getting power and right before the nighttime before i go to bed i just put the playstation 5 on there just do that and there you guys see the light comes on and it's charging like it doesn't get any simpler than that okay so guys this this has been a review of my experience using it i highly 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 recommend it it's cheap, it works, it looks amazing, it matches the PlayStation 5 theme, and you cannot go wrong with it. This is not a high-end review where I'm going to show you guys some fancy lights and have it spinning around and all this stuff like that. I, I, I like to get straight to the point, show you guys how easily it works. Um, the only other thing I can probably add is if you want to know how much it weighs, I would say this thing probably weighs maybe 150 grams, like, you know, it's... If you, if you didn't know, 454 grams is one pound. So I would say this is probably about 100 grams, maybe 150 grams. Um, <clears throat> you can see my hand, how big it is. All right. And you can see there, it's the official Sony one, not no gimmicks. All right. And, I, and at the bottom, there's even a little um, indentation. So when you put the, when you put the, when you plug the cable in, it sits perfectly flat on the ground. So, and you can see here, aesthetically, let me put it on top of the piece. Aesthetically, it matches the PlayStation 5, you know, perfectly the scheme, right? And it'll match your controller, you know, uh, perfectly, right? So, so if you guys are able to get this device, go out and get it.